change the audio over, change the audio over. And we are solid. Um, can you tell me a little quiet? But we'll see. Let's see what's on it. Come on, load. There she goes. That was like the stars. Yeah, so back to No Man's Sky. If I remember last week, we got to Antimatter. It says this is a permadeath center core run. We're going to have to take into consideration really how much antimatter we're going to need. I don't have a long jump ship. I have an other ship, though. I have that class A that needs to be repaired. That might give us some long jump. And then, once we get a freighter, I got some serious long jump. Because we'll be able to store a ton of antimatter in the freighter. But we're going to need a lot. Thinking about it, it's probably going to be where our, um, our nanites going to go is into jump stuff. Hey, Leifer! What are you doing today? Yeah, I forgot to preload the game. So it takes a couple minutes to load up. So let me know how it sounds and how it looks, because, you know, I'm connected a little funny today. It's just, it's a, it's a little funny. Because I'm currently tethered through my phone to my Wi-Fi, because the... Um, switch in my modem is dead. So, until it gets replaced tomorrow, I have to use the computer through the Wi-Fi. So, it's going to be entertaining. Uh, the game probably has the sound turned down or off. Because I was playing on a, um... A different save file earlier in the week. I started a, a normal survival. So let me adjust the audio. Just music's down. And Gives me some sound so I can hear it, but let me adjust it so you can hear it. So there you go, I think you should be able to hear it now. So that should take care of that problem. So the issue we have is we need to make antimatter in order to make our long jump to the center of the galaxy. And their brain needs to wake up. Remember how to do this. Okay. So T 
to make antimatter, we need chromatic metals, so like a ton of copper or something. Condensed carbon, not too bad. Very dust and a lot of oxygen. That's going to be a nuisance. I do it for the brain. I have tea today. Yes, we are drinking some green tea. Good stuff. Definitely good stuff. So, I'm thinking what we're going to want to do is find ourselves our first freighter and pray it's decent. I think that's our best bet. Do we have enough jump fuel? Get on board here. Um, so did you get the items yet? We're still in transit. Um, I have not checked my Dropbox, so I'll check it, um, tomorrow. See if it came in. So, that goes to my Dropbox, not to my house. Yeah, we need to make some room. Okay, that is wrong. They changed my controls. Tell that to normal, yes. Uh... Um, where did they put that? Um, they inverted. So we got another frequency. Uh, that's not a. Okay, I don't care about nada. What we do care about is the star base that's over here. That's what we care about. So we'll pop over here. Um, so I can clean off. And then once we clean off, we'll be able to... Yeah, I'll just land and ditch the scan, snitch them. So, so what happens, suppose, so what, so what's the pro slam? This No Man's Sky has a couple of goals, and it depends on uh, where you are in the game. You have uh, several different primary missions, which go from learning how to play the game to finding out the original story of the game, which is, has to do with the Atlas. 
there's another one that allows you to do uh, pirate activity and so on and so forth throughout different parts of the game. So you have that. The primary purpose of the game is to explore the universe, discover things, and um, try and discover all of the secrets of the galaxy. That's right. Unfortunately, the um, the original game didn't have very much to do, except tootle around. And later they added a lot more. The one of the goals is to reach the center of the galaxy. If you're running a permadeath run, there is only one goal. Well, it's two goals. One, live as long as possible. But the second one, which is the most important, is to hit the center of the galaxy. Once you hit the center of the galaxy, uh, there's an achievement if you do it in permadeath, because it is significantly difficult to do so. That is our goal. Our goal is to hit that achievement. I don't want the photographer. So that, that's our goal, and that's our definition of the game for this playthrough. But most people just do it to explore. The, there are different things you can find. Um, there's rare items, ships, equipment, and so on that are out there that you can... Um, I don't need that for right now. Navigation data. Um, hold on to that for the moment. That you can go looking for. It's a very slow, casual game. It is that. It is a very slow, casual, uh, chill game that I agree isn't for everybody. It's when I like to play periodically and see what's changed, what's improved, and so on and so forth. But not one that I like to play for prolonged periods of time. So, there is that. Now what we need here is oxygen. And we need a bunch of ferrite dust. And we need, we need, could use some copper. Definitely could use some copper. Oh, this game's got plenty of that. It does have plenty of uh, go blow stuff up. Don't get me wrong, it's got plenty of it. Come on, I don't need all that. However, right now, we're doing a less than optimal thing because we are not doing, you know, the boom boom stuff. All right, so give me that and give me that. That works for me. Um. I think we're okay, but well, we really need copper. And I'll show you what I mean by it's got action running around. Um, because I gotta go back down to the surface anyway to get some copper. Right. So what we need to do here is we need to make these. I'm going to make as many of these as I can. And we need a lot of them. Oh my goodness, we need a lot of them. So, okay, so I really don't need the silicate powder. I can sell that. Uh, we need fairy dust. There it is. Hold on. Need your ferrite dust. Like that. Um, and 
I need, I need, I need, I need what for antimatter? I need chromatic metal. I can dance carbon. Yeah, when you get into carbon. Unfortunately, this is one of those sections of the game that you need um, to go farming for resources. So it's a little slower. But it's not too bad. And what you'll see is you'll see a bunch of different ships coming and landing. And all of them are for sale. So like if I wanted this guy's ship, I could make an offer on this ship. And it's a class C. It's this little looks kinda like a a T wing. From Star Wars. It's a good cargo. Actually pretty decent looking ship. So I played Tony Hawks because I played it back in the day and let me tell you, was is the updated version that, that bad? Or is it good? That's kinda cool. It's the new version. I didn't really like it. Yeah. I looked at it and it just it didn't look that didn't look that interesting to me. So I didn't pick it up. So here we are. And our goal is to go to the Galactic Core. And if you notice, the Galactic Core is 716,000 light years away. This little yellow line will give us our directive our direction to the Galactic Core. Unfortunately, it actually kind of bored me. Uh, that sucks. So we're going to go to this system, and I'm hoping for a fan fight. That's what I'm hoping for. Because I really need a fighter. And I'm hoping it's at least a good one. If it's not a good one, we'll take the money and walk on. Uh, hill line, bah, that's for noobs. Take the detour. You can. You really can. You can go anywhere you want. You don't have to. Um, if you, when you, if you look for black holes in the galaxy, once you uh, get a sense so that you can find them, you can jump to black holes, and they'll jump you somewhere between six and 12,000 light years closer to the center. And that's good. The only problem is it damages your ship in the process. So that's not good. Now they use them as a wormhole in this game. They use black holes as a wormhole. So, Um, I don't care. So, you can... Well, I can't jump because they're already on top of me. Fine, whatever. There they are. Wait, where did they go? Did they disappear? Okay, maybe they've disappeared. With all the fairs around, they could have just gone away. Nope, oh, Galactic Core. We're looking for a freighter. So they'll jump you like seven to 10,000. I think the smallest I've seen is 5,000. The largest I've seen is like 15. But never just seven to 10. Closer to the center. And you have damaged ships. You gotta repair your ship every time you do a black hole jump. But if you're doing it for time, black holes are the fastest way to get to the center. But they're the most damaging. I get it. <gasps> Come on! This freighter ship is not under attack. Why? I don't need a freighter to buy. All right, let's take the next one. You jump enough times, you'll actually run into a freighter that's under attack. And if you save the freighter that's under attack, 
Um, honestly, it depends on your on your. There is no. There really is no completing because the one of the goals is to go to the center of the galaxy. And there are 255 available galaxies. And two or three galaxies that are, um, uh, no longer available easily, but they, you can still get to them. But they're out of the range. So, I've got roughly, I think, five hours on this playthrough, and I'm to where I can make antimatter. So, you figure it takes, um, I'd say two or three hours to get enough resources to make a ton of antimatter. You make some good antimatter amounts. Hold on. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. All right, where's my, where's my reverse? Ah, come on, where are you? There we go. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, why isn't it locking down this guy? My outer targeting is being busted. Come on. Oh my goodness, outer targeting is not working today. Why is outer targeting not working? So, for one reason, my auto targeting is not working. The, um, for whatever weird reason, the controller is being weird. The auto targeter is not working, and, um, just being weird. But that's okay. So this is normal space battles. They're okay. They're pretty fun. And the ground, you can, um, you can fight sentinels. But in space is really where you can fight Nice targets. You know, you can't really do a lot of fighting on the ground. Alright, so... Call me. Alright, so there's my freighter. Sure, but... No, actually it is the... For whatever reason, the, um... If you hold reverse... The fr the um there it is. It's supposed to automatically target the nearest enemy. Um wait, which one is this? This guy? Yeah, this guy. So that you can um shoot them easier. It's kind of like an easy mode, with our aim assist. And you can do that, you know, normally. But, yeah, the controls are kind of off. So this guy, since we salvaged his butt, he's going to give us two options. Option one is we can take his freighter. Well, I expect the fighter. So this is actually a class B, which isn't 
bad. Class B freighter isn't too shabby. It says you can't get a Class S for free anymore, guaranteed. I'll just take what I got. We'll just take this one. And an earlier bad guy me. <laughs> well, this game has um, the ranking system is C B A S X and um, exotic or something. And X's are kind of funny. So are the exotic sentinels. Um, in both cases, you can get um, uh, what can you get? You can get all kinds of stuff in those. You can get um, either better or worse items than you currently have. So there is that. But yeah, it's a. Freighters are cool. Um, industrial expansion. We're not doing freighters. Actually, this might not be a bad idea. Fuel oxidizers are module. Temporarily free, temporary frigate upgrade. Okay, no, that's not what I'm looking for. I actually want these, so we'll worry about that. So what we have now is we have a freighter. And this freighter comes with a few things. So it's got a large refiner by default. That's good. I didn't even look to see what this thing came with. So, I'm just kind of guessing here. It has an, a stellar extractor? What's this do? Harvest deep gases. Chromatic metals, sulfine, radon, and nitrogen. So, it harvests from the star you're currently on. So, let's see what this thing comes up with. It's got 30 seconds left. It's going to extract 15 per hour. So let's see what this actually extracts. I haven't used this particular module before. Let's have a look. I will take a finish tour on the shop. Because on the other one that I have a freighter on, it was before all of these upgrades. So every four minutes, basically, it gives you one of these items. It gets 15 per hour. Alright, so it's not great, but it's doable. And that's a refiner. Large refiners are always fantastic. And what's this one? An Exocraft Terminal. Really? Okay. So we can exo Exocraft from here. Which one's this one? This is an open room, which goes back into the star extractor, okay. Let's see, what's this one, though? It's part of the Exocraft. Interesting. I don't have an Exocraft. Alright, so we have a couple of good things here. And we have a couple of, we have lots of room. So, what we'll do is we'll make ourselves some space. In order to make space, we're going to need a Cora. Let's see, which Cora do we want? Let's make ourselves a corridor. do that. 
tonight on the corridor, we can make ourselves a little bit of a room. And what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a nice little storage area. And then, can I make room number two? Yep, we're done there. No more sodium. So what that does is that gives us a lot more storage. So in our freighter, we have the, our freighter. This is kind of a funky looking snub nose freighter. He's pretty okay though. I've seen worse. And we also have our standard uh, cargo area, which sucks. Our storage containers, and you can have up to 10 of these on top of this storage and this storage. So you can get a lot of storage out of it. If it is only a B, I would normally go for a higher rank one. But we'll live with what we got because, frankly, we're not this particular. Um, all right, have a good day. This particular one, we're not going for anything fantastic. Oops, no. We're not going for anything serious, so. We're not really concerned with how far can the freighter jump? You can make one jump of, of 100 light years. Which is only slightly better than my shelf. That's okay though. However, I do have... Access to both of my ships. Why does the freighter... Why does this want me to go talk to the freighter captain? Don't know why it wants me to talk to the freighter captain. Let's go talk to this guy. Right, because we have a command room. Hold on, I can get a command room. That's... Well, I can maybe get a command room. Yeah, I can make one. No, let's not put that there. Sure, let's make it there. Now we have a command room. So, there we go. Download data. So now I can make a freighter for you. Yay! That's okay. Now I can talk to this guy, and he'll let me take care of the expeditions, which we don't have anything, so it's kind of hard to send an expedition when you don't have any ships, and we're not going to, because we're not going to be buying uh, ships. We have no interest in it, which is fine. In different playthroughs, you would have ships, though. You'd worry about expeditions and whatnot. So, what I want to do here is I actually want to summon our other ship. There she is. Is we want to leave and then land. When we do that, 
our freighter should have both of our ships. Should. It may require a jump to reload the freighter, but I believe Chevron 1. That is not my ship. That is a cool ship. I like that one. But that one is not mine. It's okay. What we're going to do is going to load the other ship up. And then we're going to move everything from the ship into the freighter. This is the best thing to do. It's also one of the easiest ways of um, organizing everything. Just put it all in the freighter and then deal with it from there. ship actually isn't very good. It really isn't. It's the starter ship and it's just garbage. But this one is good. We just have to fix it. That's the trick. It's just fixing this thing up. straightened out. I haven't touched this ship in a while and really need to straighten it out. Um, antimatter. Uh, no, I don't have anything I need for that. Let's see. We have what we need here. Time yeah, we got some palladium. Nothing there, nothing there. It's not any matter. But this one will be will be a good ship once we square it away. I think this will be a nice ship to work with. Uh, how much money do we have? A million. Let's take it to the local uh, star base. Maybe we can find the parts we need in the local star base. There we go. Alright, so let's fly over there man. I can't do the autopilot thing. So now we have a freighter. And it's a good one, too. And we have our um, fighter. Now, what we need is going to be a small miracle that they might have everything we need without charging us an arm and a leg for it. So if we look at our fighter, we need three processors, one loom, mm -hmm. 
four limbs. Seven looms. Nine looms. Dang, that's a lot of looms. That is a lot of looms. Let's buy ten of them. And that's the majority of my money, too. We'll buy that. That. Oh, that's fine. Switch over to the the ship. Cause we can craft stuff straight from the ship. Mm. I think we need some sodium. So that will give us a little bit of a kickstart here. I think we need at least three of those. Pure ferrite and sodium nitrate. That's correctable. Uh, this one needs sodium and loot, so buy that. This one needs that gem. Good. Pass of that. Chromatic. Phosphorus. Activated copper. Pure ferrite. I need a lot of pure ferrite. Get those looms out of the way. Oh, I need magnetized ferrite. I need 50 of that. Okay, that's doable. And get rid of that out of the way. What's that one? Paphium? Alright, I can probably buy some of that. And then just need to work through the rest of these real quick. It's always a pain in the rear end whenever you're dealing with a new ship and you don't have a lot of stock. You have a lot of stock items. Because, like, one of the things that you do when you get ships later in the game is you have all this stuff. I want more wire loom. Already on your freighter. You know, you'll have found or bought a bunch of wire looms at one point. And you'll have, you know, all of the shows you need to make like antimatter or whatever. It's not a big deal. You just have everything you need and you know what you do. In our case though, we have a ship that is Ferium, sodium, and copper. Well, works for me. I need the copper. Is that an anomaly world? I didn't look. See if we can find ourselves a patch of copper here. No, it's a odd little planet. But it's not one of those weird anomaly worlds. Unfortunately. Those are cool. I like those. Those can be a lot of fun. Oh, there's a lot of learning stones. I wanted to learn languages, which I don't. Oh, it's gonna be one of those big old pits. I've seen deeper. Oh my goodness, I saw one that took like six or seven seconds to fly out. It was horribly deep. Absolutely horribly deep. This isn't too bad. 
it would have been a really cool place to build a, um, a base if I was in a, a normal survival playthrough. Because you could cap the top off and just build inside the massive crater. Would have been amazing, but um, yeah, I'm not seeing deposits from the air, which kind of stinks. I mean, they're everywhere. They really are everywhere. You'll trip over them once you land. But let's land here. Guess we can use this landing pad. Hopefully the um, sentinels are amiable. What's their sentinel structure look like? Unwavering. Does that mean they're gonna attack me on sight? No? But it does mean they're going to be very popular. Okay, so they're going to be very common, they're going to be obnoxious, but they're not going to um, assault me just because I exist. Which is fine with me. Let's just put all this stuff on the ship. on the ship. Alright, so let's go find our chromatic metal. Because we do need our chromatic metals. Oh look! Planetary space arm. necessarily those guys, but we will scan them all while we're here. There's no reason not to. You get units, you get um, nanites, so it's, you know, it's all worth it. You just gotta take your time. So there's 13 total. Scanned four. There's this one. I think that's the tree. It's the shrub. Finally get the alien life one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. A little laggy, but it's okay. All right. Okay, sort of lagging just a little bit today. It's not that big of a deal, but it is. A nuisance. And unfortunately this game can lag a little. And certain planets. It has to do with the engine not being able to keep up with the amount of detail on the screen. No matter how much you turn it down, Doesn't matter. 
certain planets will always do this. Unfortunately, this is going to be one of the ones that will always lag. It's unfortunate. I kind of like this planet. And we're attracting sentinels, but it's okay, though. They're pretty dumb. So let's see what they want. Message displays a plays itself letter by letter on a screen. Something interloper. Alarm shows a sign of stopping. Apply override chip, cut wires, shoot cameras. Let's do the override chip. All right, so let's stop the alarm and give us something else. Here was something. Uh, nanite, uh, expansion slot. Oh, yes, please. That's worth a fortune. Because I can put that on any multi tool. Like, this one's pretty decent. If I get a better multi tool, I can use those expansion slot on that better multi tool. And that's what we want. Better multi tool. Too bad. I'll take the minutes. Now, if you have a perfect multi tool like late game, and you have like everything in the game, then it's like, okay, whatever. Just, you just grab what you want or need or whatever. But in our case, we need cover deposits. That's what we need. We need that copper deposit. And the copper deposit will be beneficial. Because we'll be able to get what we need. I actually don't need those. Not for this type of a run. Because all we care about in this run is um, fixing the ship up, fixing the freighter up, and basically getting everything we need um, to make an insane amount of antimatter. I know that's all we care about. Is an insane amount of antimatter. Oh my goodness. It's no. So this planet may not be a good idea for us to be on. A couple reasons. One is this lag. Oh my goodness, this lag is tremendous. And the controller is not helping. So we'll switch this over to... Uh, keyboard and mouse. And we'll use really big demo balls. So yes, no, you're not... The stream is not lagging if you're seeing this bounce. It's just this planet. So we're going to go back to our ship. Which is over where? Here, shippy, 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 shippy. There it is. And then we'll just go to the, one of the planets in the system, because, frankly, 
there's no reason to be out of bed that's this laggy. Now, if it was me, and I was just playing for me to play, I probably wouldn't care too much. I mean, I'd, I'd stick around long enough to get the, um, all the animals. But I probably wouldn't stick around much past that. But I would stick around to do that. In this case, we care about actually being able to make progress. So, because of that, we're going to get off the planet. There we go. Alright, now we're back in space. Hopefully that clears up our lag issue. Okay, so let's see what this one's got. Copper, pyrite, and salt. We do need some pyrite. And the copper will be good. What is it? Flame ruptured planet. So this is going to be a hot planet. Probably not for too many animals. That should be okay. So, we have gotten one of the goals for today, which is the freighter. That's good. And... This is the pirate campaign. So I don't screw that up. That gives you the pirate campaign. I know. We don't have access to anything on this ship. The ships are flying. They're flying around it like it's you know, a normal ship. Oh come on, baby. I don't have any guns. I don't care the conditions. So we're just going to have to fly away. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. They'll eventually, um, give up. So now we're back in line. We could escape if we wanted to. Get a little longer and it'll be completely out of our scope. And we'll land on this planet. Fire blasts the world is entertaining sometimes. So we have a little bit of fire, a little bit of fire, heat gas pockets. And we're in the middle of a stupid firestorm. Really? So what we can do, because we need, is we do need to get, um, uh, what is it, this one? Yes, 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 yes. We need some dust. Uh, that was 
você. Vem de cabra. Vai lá, vai de cabra. Tá. Vai ser uma... Gotta do a little bit of carbon farming, a little bit of iron farming. Not a big deal. It's not a great plant to farm carbon, but it's okay. It'll suffice for what we need. Now, what we want to do is we want to do. Several things. There we go. And what we can try is we can try the duplication glitch. It is a it is something that we can try. I haven't tried it on the PC version. And I haven't tried it in a while. So it may no longer work, but there is a, a small duplication glitch that you can use. And if it works, we can make a ton of compressed iron ferrite real quickly. You can use it for pretty much anything, really. But, let our thermal pressure come back. And then, right here, is take that out. Put it there. Pick this up, pick this one up, and then we're going to place number two. And it's, you got to get it as close as you can get. And then you place the third one Oop. over here. I don't think that's going to work. I think it's, there's just too much in the way. Hold on. Let me get over here where it's a little more flat. Let's try it again. You. Yep. And then what we're going to do is going to load it. Load it with our ferrite. Where's our compressed ferrite? There it is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put another one. And then the third one. When you look at it, oh, there you go, I'm right. They're not close up together. Alright, so I'm staying on top of it. I said, you used to know how to do this really well. And then you grab the third one. Is that right? Gotta get it in the right spot. All right. 
maybe it's on the side. It could just be the fact that this is not. I think it's just the terrain's not flat enough to do this. All right. And then we want to see what that's one. No. Flat platform. Try again. Now, install the fabric. And that's got ferret in it. Good. And then you use the third one over here. And that one didn't work. Just gotta get it right. Once you get it right, you're good to go. Just getting it. This third one does not want a place. Let's try on the other side. Now let's see if it works. And then you just click it. I gotta get all three of them just right. And I can't get seem to get a best right. Not on this train. It's too inconsistent. It's fine. So do we have All right, so that's a funky little cacti. Four tens, not really. No building. Oh, it's the flying cephalopods. That's cool. It's not a rideable one though. It's not big enough. The little gas balls. See those before. I'm not a fan of this planet. It's a little too hot. Yes, 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 yes. You've location acquired from abandoned vessel. Yeah, I don't care about that. So this system I think only has, yeah, it's just the two. And I don't, is this, do we have a jump drive? 
We do have a jump drive. It's not fixed though. So where's our freighter? Freighter. I need to get into orbit real quick. And I'll pull the freighter over. And we'll go to a different planet. Because while this is useful at all, it's not what we're looking for. Now I think I think I can just have the freighter jump. We'll take out some gas. Yeah, so now the freighter can jump for us. Which makes our lives a little easier. Uh, back to core. Like I said, the, the spinner can only jump about 100 light years. You can work it up to where if you do a, a ship dedicated to jumping, you can do like a thousand light years in a jump. We're not set up that way, though that's what this ship that I'm working on right now is going to become. Is a jump ship. And it's important. So let's go down. Let's go ahead and get in our ship. And what we're going to do is we're going to unload everything we don't need to the freighter. We don't need it. We're going to unload it to the freighter. Alright, hold on. I gotta go to the different part of the freighter in order to do this. Not that one. I need to go this way. That's all I need is I just need to get here. And from here I can unload into the storage bins everything we don't need. Exosuits. Unload that. Unload that. Uh, unload that. Hold the carbon. Actually, we need that. So let's. Who needed? Pure ferrite. Say we need pure ferrite. We can just dump it here. And be done with it. Hopefully, maybe. Hafium, because it be magnetized. That's fine. That works, that works, that works. Antimatter. No, 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 no. Alright, so exos dump this stuff into the holds. Because we don't need it. Save the carbon. Uh, dump the hyperdrive module. Dump the navigation data. Dump the hydrogen. Hold on to that because we'll try the glitch uh, later. And what we're going to do here is we're going to refine. Refine. I'm looking for. I do need sodium. Mm -hmm. Oh, that thought. 
the heat to rearrange the fighter. Some of these things are just in the wrong spots. Can't Can't do certain things when they're in the wrong spots. You want all the materials you're going to be refining and whatnot to be in the freighter, the primary freighter areas, and not in these storage modules because you can't see them down there. From the refiner. There we go. So now I can grab. Huh. And it'll make the kind ice for it for me. No big deal. Large refiners are amazing. And getting one free with the ship is totally awesome. So now we'll go into orbit, and we'll check out this planet, Let's see what we've got here. A lava planet, okay, that's going to be a hot one, all right, what are you, Mr. I'm behind you. You're charred. Okay. What are you? You're just toxic. Okay. Okay, I have to move away from the ship. We can get rid of the hostels, it's not a big deal. We have nothing on board. So, like, uh, you ain't got nothing we want. Thing is, if you have, like, one anything, they'll, like, chase you down for it for some strange reason. I don't understand why. Yeah, it's like, it's not even like it has to be a certain value, it just has to be an object. It was anything that could be sold at all. And it was just one piece of, like, hydrogen. Yeah. When, when you die or something, they will attack you for it. It's so weird. Or the titanium to fuel your engines or whatever. I've always found it weird that they just... The most common things in the universe they'll attack you for. Doesn't matter, they're not gonna attack me. We haven't got anything. This planet looks useful. I don't know what's on it, but we'll find something on it. Can always find something on these planets. And that looks like copper. So this particular planet is, what, temperate, tentative, it's got stuff. We can get some compressed carbon right here. That's fantastic. And we've got some copper. Useful. And we're good. 
Like a living tumbleweed. It's kind of weird, but okay. There's six life species on this planet. And that's three. Any more? Yeah, over there. That's a funky looking one. Now let's see. That's four. Leaves us with two. Two is not too sharp. What's that? Paraffin. I guess you need paraffin. So we'll grab that. And really it's more... Just farming what you need. Really, it's just sometimes you're just farming up a storm, other times you're uh, just collecting general resources. You don't really care what it is. And other times you're doing something very specific. In this case, we're going to grab some words. Don't care about the dictionary. Wait for encyclopedia, I don't, I'm not. I'm not going for encyclopedia. I actually don't care. I mean, if I get the milestones, I get the milestones. I really don't need them. Not for this run. Wrong kind of wrong. Uh, there it is. That's a shell. Okay. It burrows. That's its thing. Grows to the ground like a fish. <laughs> okay. Whatever floats your boat. Doesn't bother me any. Okay. It's a very nasty looking one. I've got a suck to fall into. And this is our paraffin deposit. It's not gonna be very big. It almost never is. But it will give us what we need, I and mean, we do need some paraffin. Not a lot. We only need like a couple hundred units, max, for the ship. But it's okay. We do need that copper deposit. Don't care about the little homesteads or whatever. And we care about things like the um, condensed carbon, because we do need that. But... Okay. Now what are we looking for? What's this last bio thingy. It's going to be nocturnal northern hemisphere. Okay. Not that I know what that means. Yeah, on the planet. 
you can find it anywhere, but they kind of give you hints as to where and when you can find them, because some animals are, like, they're always around. And others are only around at night or in the day or certain times of day, like morning or evening. So there are things like that. Where'd the plant go? There's the sodium plant. I'm gonna say, because I need the sodium. Actually, it's sodium nitrate, but... What the hydrate? I don't need that, actually. There we go. Where is... Where's my copper deposit? It's around here somewhere. I think I'm standing on it. Is that it? No, it's a paraffin. That's silver. Paraffin. Silver, silver, told you, thought I was standing on it, it's underneath this boulder. That's freaking, but we'll take the boulder out. I don't care about the auxiliary resources. Doesn't really matter to me much. Because what we need is so many standard resources. So I need a lot of copper. It's just, I need tons of it. There she is. That's it. So that's all the creatures on this planet. So what we'll do is we will upload it, get it in it. Grab our compressed iron, compressed copper, uh, carbon. And then we will look for our next copper area. Paraffin, paraffin. Copper deposit. It's actually back by the ship. That's convenient. It's fine. We got some, we got all of the tech we need to recharge the ship. Or recharge the, the suit. So. And I think it's like 10 planets total that you have to do that with for the milestones. I don't, you know, it doesn't really matter. You do need to get the maximum milestone score in order to finish the Atlas quest. Which is the one that tells you to go to the center of the galaxy. But, it really isn't that big right now. Sodium? Yes? No? No? No, it doesn't look like any. God stinks, could use some more sodium. Actually, there is a sodium plant over there. The yellow one over there. That's sodium. We can collect that. And that'll help our sodium nit our sodium or sodium nitrite, whichever ends up being at the moment. 
I look like some of these weird aliens. Alien creatures. Like this one here. Now where is... There's the capital deposit. It looks like it's actually under the ship. Like that one that I was on originally wasn't finished. Which is so weird. Or it's just another one that I overlooked. Yeah, I just didn't finish it. I thought I cleared it out, but apparently I had. It's fine. It's not that big a video. So what we're going to do here is going to check our ship. See if we have anything like paraffin. We need a lot more paraffin. And we need more sodium nitrate. Not a big deal. But we can get lots of paraffin on this planet, so. The biggest thing you need to do in this game is mine. You do a lot of adventuring, a lot of mining. Later on, when you've actually got money and you've got a fleet that you can do the fleet um, adventures on, that makes you a ton of money. You can get a ton of money, resources, nanites, all of it from those. But you gotta have a lot of money to begin with. Because each uh, ship you buy is like... Between... T one and a half? And... Um... Like five or seven? I think about five million. Give or take. And the level up as you use them. But yeah, they're it's expensive. And you gotta have right, you then five per expedition. And I think you get a max of like six or seven expeditions going. It's crazy. It's kind of nuts how much you have going on in this game. But they did that because people were, keeps people from getting bored. They keep adding content. And yeah, it's mostly this. You know, it's a lot of slow trudging and it's not for everybody. Completely admit that it is not for everybody. Looks like that's it for that one. Uh, is this prepare from the deposit. It looks like it's not complete. It's done. It's not useful. This carbon is. But the paraffin we need. Mm, a lot. We need a lot of paraffin. We need like 300 paraffin. I think it's faster to buy it. 
problem is I don't have the money. Can I get the money? Sure. Can I always get the money. The Savage Data course will do that. Pick up enough of those. You can buy just about anything. So here's an example. Of a deposit. That's so small. Or buried just right. That it's all but useless. Pair from deposit. Yay. Garbage. Now there is a building over there. Let's go check that out. Maybe it's going to be one of those that has a good shop on it. I doubt it. Looks like it's just a, um, yeah, it's just a safe beacon. Not really worth it. No, it's silver, don't need that. That buried technology is actually more interesting. It's worth more, too. The buried silver is not really worth that much. But, this one is. This is actually worth money, so we'll pick this up on the way through and look for the next target to go through. It's one of those that takes time to get so established, and a permadeath run like we're doing is really not that useful to do a lot of the side content. Because honestly, a significant amount of it will just kill you. Transmission tower. That's paraffin there. Silver, paraffin, copper. Well, I guess we can go that way. We can get that paraffin. We need 300 paraffin. And we're only at 120. So it's going to take a while by doing this the, the mining way. And we're doing that because it's cheaper, it's easier, um, it does take longer, but it's okay. I need to get copper anyway, and I need to get some money. This transmission tower, though, might be a good place to buy stuff. So we'll dip in real quick. About as well as I can summon my ship. It's got fuel, right? Yeah. Wait, does it got fuel? Yeah, it's got. For sale, I wasn't sure. Distress call. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, twenty, seven, twenty. Distress signal. What if that's a ship? I'm not sure which kind of distress signal that is. We will go check it out though. Because it might be a new ship. 
and there's some pretty cool ships in this particular uh, system. None that I really want. Where's that distress call at? I don't see it. Alright, well, let's... Let's summon the ship. See if we can find that distress call. Maybe it's off planet. I don't know. The funny thing is, these sentinels, they don't normally care if you rearrange, resurface the planet. But if you mine one, like, ferrite dust. They'll throw a hissy fat. It's so weird. There it is. Let's see. Alright, so it's way out of the planet. That's why we couldn't scan it. I know, they're gonna want whatever's in my inventory. It's fine, I can outrun them. They'll come in, but I'll just, if I keep flying in this direction, they'll just go away. And then I'll be able to Get away from them, we'll be good to go, it doesn't matter. Let's see what this stress bacon is. Because if it is a ship, then maybe we'll get a cool ship. So, if that is the case, then I will definitely have to, um... do some offline work for these ships. Because there's going to be a lot of effort involved. To get these ships squared away. So let's see. What do we got here? Looks like a T-Wing. No. Really, really... Garbage fighter. What is it? It is an A-Class, though. It's got a lot of damage, but it is an A-Class. I mean, it's actually better than my current one. Which is a little scary. And it's got... Yeah, you know, it's really better because it's got a lot of inventory squared up. It's got much bigger... Um, Space here, and it's got a ton of space here. So let me actually transfer over what I can. It's fine, I can make this work. So 
not that big of a deal. So, I need compressed iron. I need the compressed fry. Oh, I need regular fry dust. No, I'm sorry. I need fairy dust, which is relatively easy to get a hold of. That's cobalt. How many cobalt at the moment? Mm. What's this one got? I mean, there's a lot of stuff I have on, on a ship. Search for loot. Open box. Ah, open the box. Oh, it has been going away. Don't really need that, but okay. That's perfect, right? That's perfect, right? Ah, uh, go away. We'll go down here. See if we can't find ourselves. Some iron. Okay. Yeah, that's cobalt. That's pure iron. There's some dust. So what we need is we need a... Normally it's easy to find, but today we're not having any luck. There we go, so that's fair right dust. Now this thing's gonna require quite a bit to fix up. But I think we'll be able to do it with minimal effort. That is a lot. That is a lot of eggs. That is a lot of eggs. I don't even know if I can collect all those eggs. I mean, these pearls are worth a decent amount of money. They're not worth, like, grotesque amounts of money. It's not like larval cores or anything. Which come from humming sacks. But... Living pearls are worth at least good money. Because you figure a stack of five is 50k? Now where's the ship at? Ship is. Did I get my fairy dust? I did. Okay. And we come back up. There we go. take care of our ship. So here's the new ship. What we need is we need that. Now we can just go through here and see if anything here we can just take care of while we're here. So we need three more plates. Chromatic metals. 
sodium looms, lots of looms, pure ferrite, I can get that, oxygen, take that, um, it's the chromatic metal really. That's really the one that kills you. And I don't really have a lot of money on me. Mm, I should have quite a bit. Alright, so we're good. That's all we needed to get this thing off the ground. So now we want to do is we want to go to the, the freighter. And the station. Our freighter is there. We'll start with that. And then we'll go from there to the station. And see if we can, you know, fix the shot. Now granted, the wiring looms, we're going to have to struggle with that. That's gonna be a lot of money. But we can make some money. We're probably gonna need a million in order to buy the wiring rooms. But if we can do you know, we need we'll be okay. That's fine. So we're not landed, so we get to go there. And now we just go back up to our ship. We go in here. We go over to the refiner. We take this, throw it into there. Uh, whatever copper we have, go ahead and refine that because we're going to do that. And then, what we can do is we can go through the ship and see what we can do. Because we might be able to take care of some of it now. And then we just have to go chase down some of the oddball stuff. There we go, see? Not too bad. Most of it's just chromatic metal. Which, like I said, it's easy enough to get a hold of. You just have to uh, find a little bit. So if you notice, a big chunk of this ship is back in working order. Take that out of there. And then... I don't need the silicon. Do you need sodium though? I need that more. There we go. So let's see here. Go ahead and use that. Activated copper. That one takes some oxygen. It's not enough, but it's okay. This will finish up shortly. I guess I wish I had a second one. But, you know, case okay, so 
Is there anything in the fighter storage that we can sell? It's worth selling. I don't think so. Ah, uh, you are. Not you, I can't get with you. Hmm. You are. You're worth selling. You're staying here, you're staying here. That's almost done. But anything I need that I don't need to take with me. Carbon. I can go there. Condensed carbon. Uh, I thought I needed condensed carbon. Maybe it wasn't on this ship, it was the other ship that needed condensed carbon. Alright, let's do that. Um, we're gonna need the computers. Those in the ship. And... Uh, sodium nitrate. Yeah, I can make that. I can start cooking some of that. Let's make a bunch of these plates. Oh, uh, let's go some of them anyway. And then... Let's sit down with the chromatics. Good. Take that. The inventory. And let's see here. Do I have more copper? Do you have some more copper? Toss that in there. I mean, you need so much, so. Well, it's just for fun at all. Alright, so the ship is over here. Now, do I need any? Is there anything on my stuff I don't need? Um, I don't think so. I mean, I think the ship's got more than enough silicate powder. I'm gonna sell that. Because I really don't need the silicates. At the moment. Go ahead and put that there. Sell that, sell that. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's all good for sale. I know. But we'll get where we're going in a minute, and we should be able to... Um, get most of the systems back online. And then we'll probably call it a night. And I, I'll spend some time offline, I think, and do some of the boring stuff. So we can set ourselves up for the galaxy run. We're gonna need like a lot of jumps. Oh my goodness, we need a lot of jumps. So sell that, sell that, um, sell those, sell that, sell that, 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 save that. Switch to the ship. Nope, oh, okay there. So, we do need a bunch of wiring looms, and I need this one computer. So how many computers do I need? So for the hybrid drive, we need the computer. Do we need any more computers? 
I'll do account for wiring rooms in a minute. I was looking for anything else that's not a wiring room. That we need to worry about. Phosphorus. Well, it's just chromatic metal. Need a little bit of deoxid. So that's three wiring looms, five wiring looms, eight wiring looms, it's like just eight wiring looms, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14. I ate 14 wearing ones. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's like everything I own. That is so many wearing ones. That is so many wiring looms, oh my goodness. I hope we don't need, need much of anything else. That is a lot of wiring looms. But it's okay. Okay, so I need Actually, I need two more metal plates. It's not too bad. I, mean, I need a lot of um, hold on. All right, so that's good. So now, what we need is we need copper. We need all the copper we can get a hold of. Now, copper, emerald, or iridium. That's what we need. Aye. Right. How much phosphorus do we need? Uh, 75? I think that's it. I think it's just 75 phosphorus. And ten chlorine. No, I need 150 phosphorus. I really don't have anything left to sell. Because those don't sell very well. Alright, well. Let's look and see if these guys got the copper I need. I'd rather buy that. Mm. Oh, I have phosphorus, but here we go, copper. It's going to be 80,000 to buy everything he's got. I got nothing he wants. I got nothing he wants. So I guess I could take the copper he's got, but I can afford to buy off of him. This be a starting on what I need. So let's just take that and I 
I know the shield's still down because I need sodium nitrate. Uh. Thank you. That was just kind of weird. Ship didn't want to take off. There we go. Back to our ship. Because what we can do is we can get the copper for uh, crafting. And we can get the sodium that's in there out. And we'll be good to go. This is ship. This is my first ship. And my other ship should be under someone. Let's see it. It's kind of weird. Oh, it's probably on the planet somewhere. At the moment. Oh, yeah. So here we go. We have the chromatic metals. And then. Now, if I put in more copper. Nope. It'll only do one at a time. But what we can do. is place our refiners. And we'll try this one more time. As I've tried this before, and it does kind of butter up some. But we know it used to work. It's just a matter of, does it still work? Yeah. There was a thing right? Yep. It's not showing up in there. Let's not be in the right spot. Because hmm. I've gotten it to work. Just not lately. in here the antimatter and then we put in here oh give me that one back try it again Maybe that's because I'm on a planet. So maybe that's because I'm on a planet. Alright. It's fine. So I'll take that. Put the copper in. And we'll go to the ship. We'll fix the ship where we need to fix the ship. Because all the components are good now, it's just a matter of cleaning up the ones that um, we can actually clear out. That's the trick, it's just getting enough to be able to clear out some of these areas. Yeah, but you can do that. 
And that's what I want to do here. Is we're going to do the sodium. And just have that do its thing. Now, we also need... Uh... Need titanium, deuterium, uh, um, what do you break down to? And I just don't care. Um, mm. I think it's just sodium at this point. So do we have anything that's worth any money? That's the question. Do we have anything that's worth any money? Because we are short cash at the moment. those over to that, but it doesn't help that much. It really doesn't. Because, like, this one here, the, the Pujim, it's, yeah, it's worth some money. It'll give you my phosphorus that I need. But it's not going to really give me what I Everything we need. Alright, so give me that. Give me that. Anything else? So, yeah, you're fixed. So, we have our shields back. We have our cannon back. more space we can use. And then pretty much just missing chromatic metals at this point. It's pretty much all we're missing. Some chromatic metals. As soon as we jump, the other ship will end up back here on the freighter. And you'll know, see all three of my ships. You can have a total of, I think, six ships. Which gives you enough room on your um, freighter for guests to dock. Not big enough. They'll blow away. Scan fail. Yep, we're good. See, easy peasy. Not a big deal. And what we'll do here is let's go to this guy. See what he's got. Trade, sell, and we'll sell off the Bougium. Because that's what we have to sell. And then, see what he's got. Just a ferrite. I'll take that. Um, 
Don't need the sodium, don't need the cobalt, don't need the nitrate. Pyrite. Probably need pyrite. Do I need pyrite? 60. One twenty. Guess we need one hundred twenty. All right. So we can do that one. The trick is buying what you need when you don't have a lot of money, and not buying any more. If you only need, you know, a little bit of all right. Only buy what you need. Because the. You don't have the money to say, oops, I bought too much. Just like the um, phosphorus. I need 150 phosphorus. I tell you that much. I need a little less, but I'll probably just buy 150 just to be safe. Alright, so what do you have? Off of the trade, you have copper. I do need the copper. I think I'll have the phosphorus more than the copper. Because I can't buy straight chromatic metals from you people. So. That's an issue. So... Phosphorus. Here we go. So, I need a hundred... Fifty... Phosphorus. I don't need the pair of them. I do need Poojium. Or plutonium, rather. The palladium. The palladium. That I need. Uh, I say chlorine. But this particular system doesn't have chlorine. And for that, I need how much? Might just be cheaper to buy the plates. Honestly. They almost always have plates. And, yeah, that's all we need for that. So, do, okay, plates, good. We're getting there. Now, the big trick is everything else. So, what do you have? Uh, let's see here. Oh, the dioxide. I need 40 of that. And then... That's it. I believe that's all I need. Well, I need chlorine still, but I think all I needed from him was fluoride dioxide. Yep. So that takes care of that component. And that leaves us with basically needing a ton of chromatic metal. And none of these guys are selling chromatic metal, they're selling copper. I can get copper, but I can't get chromatic. Which is a shame. But it is what's available. Oh, platinum. Um how much platinum do I need? 
crap, I don't even know. I need... Platinum, 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 50. Hold on. Fifty. Oh, that's hot. Before you leave, I need fifty platinum. And then I'm broke. But it does free up one more slot. So we're so short the parafilm, we're so short pure ferrite. A lot of pure ferrite. That's some advertised ferrite. As well as some ferrite dust. But most of what we need at this point is chromatic metals. And that's an issue. Because that just means a whole lot of farming. So, like, this planet here has copper. It also has a little bit of phosphorus, which, okay, that's actually going to save me a little bit of money. That's got ammonia and copper. Copper, pyrite, and silver. That's it. Is it just those three? No, it's five total. Which are the bodies? There's one behind the, the planet. Let's see what that is. Is there anything here useful? Okay, what are you? Selenium. Selenium, copper, phosphorus, magnetized ferret. Let's go ahead and jump. So we move it towards the core. And we'll keep going towards the core until we find what we're looking for. What we're looking for is a good plan to do some mining and farming. Because that's what we need. I mean, I can... Go back to my base world and farm a lot of the stuff we need there. And then jump back here. Four planets, two moons, okay. But I'd rather keep moving forward if we can. Activate a We actually need that. We need the activated copper for the shop. And I think activated copper does become, um, what we need. So, when refined. Okay, so those are like activated copper deposits. If that's the case, I got like three of them right here. Yeah, I know ice sperms, so it's fine. I'm not worried about that. It's fine. We're worried about getting this copper. Every day we're on here, it'll give us a stupid bonus. That sends the activated copper. I 
has the ability to do what we need. And one of the things we need. We're just going to get in here for a minute. Now, we're going to drop that. If we give it the activated copper, it will become chromatic metal. What's the, I don't know what the ratio is, don't care. What we need is to know the rest of that is. Can, because I saw three deposits. I were activated copper. And it will become chromatic metal. Which is good. I'm not really concerned about the wildlife. Yeah, it's extreme alright, but it's cold, so we're good. We can deal with copper. We can deal with cold. I've got cold weather gear. What I don't have is hot weather gear. We do have cold weather gear. And extreme planets are always entertaining. Because in a normal game, They're actually an ideal place to be. Because you need um you need them. Because you need to live like ten or twenty days on um uh, souls. On these planets, so now we don't care about that. That's cobalt, anyway. I think that's the one I already hit. No, I've hit these. Hit that one, hit that one, have not hit that one. And really, once you get used to um, dealing with these planets, especially if you've got a little bit of gear stacked up, you usually do pretty good. Don't need the dioxide, don't need the cobalt. Do need the copper. We need a lot of copper for this poor character. And it's fine, we've got enough materials to recharge his shields. So that's not a problem. The advantage to being a little later in the game is you typically have a bunch of the batteries and the uh, the med packs that you need know, to keep yourself alive. All right, truck the cactus. All right, so let's go for. All right. All right, well, yeah. Yeah, amongst the stars, that's the whole um, Artemis storyline. 
between your two main storylines that you're supposed to follow. Those storylines give you like all the things you need to really play the game. Give you a lot of blueprints too. So if you, actually, if you just barrel through them, you get a lot of blueprints from those storylines. Versus, not just worth a lot. So we'll get that. Normally you would use these to unlock your base. But we're using them for being able to buy things. Like right now we need an insane amount of chromatic metal. And it's because we need so, so much chromatic metal, we're going to buy some. No, oh, out of blizzard. Ooh, a bouncing head. These things were like the ultra memes back when the game first came out. They're supposed to be like really rare. And they end up being like on every single planet. And you'd have like 15 creatures on your planet. And 14 of them would be those bouncing heads. It was pretty bad. So, we need that. Those storm crystals drop anything else. If you find storm crystals, they are way worth it. They're worth the headache to get. You can only get them on planets like this. In extreme planets. During the storms on the extreme planets. And if you can get a bunch of them, then making the jump, making jump fuel is so much easier. Because those will help you make jump containers that will fill your jump drive up in one go. Instead of having to do like individual antimatters. But you can only do it with storm crystals. So we got lucky in finding this planet because it's one that I'm actually geared for. Because I really am. I'm geared for this particular type of planet. I've got two cold weather units. And I've got a ton of recharges. And I have no problems throwing away things for um, these strong crystals because there were so much. No! My storm's clearing. She don't want to go back on the copper. Yeah, that doesn't matter to me. What mattered was that storm. That storm's what mattered. I 
because that's worth way more. The focuses aren't really worth that much, all in all. Let me show you. The uh, storm crystals are only worth a bit of a hundred thousand each. But, I don't know if I have it. I don't have it. Once you get far enough into the, um, the unlocks, you can unlock the item that uses them. And it is potent. It really is worth it. You're being able to unlock, you know, be able to fill up your, your jump drive in one go. The only trick is you gotta have hundreds of storm crystals. And really I need like thousands in all reality right now, because my ship's jump drive stinks, but that's okay. Because <coughs> what we'll do in this system, aside from farming these storm crystals, is I will upgrade my ship so that it can, um, this is going to be a jump ship. So I'm going to be buying a lot of jump mods. I have, I think, one or two of them already, and we're buying a bunch of them, and I'm going to be organizing them for efficiency and redundancy and whatnot. Um, the accent. You know what? I have room for the accent. I will if I sell my ship over here. So let's summon the ship over here. Because I'm going to go down to that deposit. I'm going to pull this deposit. But this gives me a chance to unload a little bit. Because we did grab a ton of, like, stuff. So, okay, powder, the phosphorus, um, I can just go to the regular cargo hold, sodium can go to the regular cargo hold, uh, so, okay, powder, don't care. Alright, and the stone crystals can go to the ship's heavy hold. So, we're getting there. It's useful. It's functional. Don't grab the deoxid because we do use all of it that we had. You can only get deoxid on cold plants. So, if you don't have a cold plant readily available, you can't get deoxid. It's good to have a stack of that stuff, but nothing too much, too fancy. So I, I've got, what, 90 now? That's more than enough. It really is. You don't really need that much. Now, where was that copper deposit? Oh, there. I'll grab this real quick, and then we'll save and call it a day. it's what we need. And this is a really good planet, too. Like I said, we'll chase down those storm crystals. And we'll 
whole chase down everything else that we need in this system. This would be a good system to do it in. Because there's a lot of good materials here. So that's a good thing. So I got most of the... Oh, there we go. I say I know we're missing one or two animals. So that's it. That's the last one. Sweet. So we'll do the upload to that. And the upload there. And then we'll save. Uh, move the copper to the ship. And the jacks can go to the ship. I don't care about the glowing, the glowing mineral, I can do whatever. That frees up our inventory for what we need. I like this, the silicon will just get thrown away as usual. I mean, we keep some of it, but we don't really need that much. So thank you for dropping in and visiting. Um, I'll do some offline work on this this week so that next week we can do the easier stuff and do what we want to do. So thank you for sticking around, and I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget, tomorrow we're doing Legend of Dragoon. We're getting close to the end there. And maybe we'll get it finished up in the next couple of weeks. So, I'll see you there. Have a good day.